What's up, gamers? How you doing today? We need to chat. Okay, so most of you have probably seen this post from Eric, the community manager for Grounded. Posted in the Discord yesterday, this right here. It says, hey, Grounded friends, on our birthday stream, I announced that we'll be working on a new update. Blah, 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 blah. The content of the update is quite a bit different than we've developed so far. It's experimental into something that we are not or something that we as the people are not expecting. So what I want to do first, very, very first thing before you click off of this video, I wanted to let you know that I am going to be giving away $50 Amazon gift card to the person that can guess the closest as to what the heck this is going to be. Okay, so make sure you participate down in the comments. But what we're going to do is we're going to go through things uh, that I think are going to happen or that I, you know, speculate that might happen. Um, the only difference is, is this time it's not going to be things that everybody else already thinks. So I've got kind of an interesting list here. I want to see what you guys' thoughts are. Maybe I'll end up guessing what it is or maybe you'll end up guessing what it is either way i want to uh you know if there happens to be multiple people to pick the same thing then we'll uh, spin to win uh whoever that is but yeah i want to so between now which is august 18th at 10 o'clock in the morning uh until whenever this gets announced or released or whatever uh, we will be holding a giveaway situation for the person who can closest guess what is happening here so um so i want to go over a couple things that i think would be experimental and that we aren't expecting obviously those are two things that we could really break down quite a bit so things we are expecting right more bosses more bugs uh the shed being opened up things along those lines that you know us as a community have expected from grounded for for quite some time the last update that we had apologies this is gonna be kind of a weird i don't make videos like this for grounded but um we're running with it so it is what it is so the last update that we had was 1.2 which uh brought the super duper update lots of cool suit tons of cool stuff dude it was on april 25th so about four months ago uh today's august 18th so about six days or something till the 25th or whatever but yeah, so it's been four months. Now, normally, uh, I haven't paid super close attention to the track record, but I'm pretty sure that updates and things as such usually take about three months. They've obviously spent a lot more time on whatever the heck this experimental thing is, but I'm going to go ahead and get into my speculations of things that I would, one, really enjoy to see, or two, uh, hope to see. So I have a list here, starting from the top everybody's wanted weather right and that's something we've expected but and i've talked about this on stream something i think would be super cool is uh not exactly like weather over the entire yard but the sprinklers there's sprinklers all over the place in the backyard of grounded and i think it would be super cool if you know like say like every three days or five days or a random event or whatever the sprinklers would turn on and then there would be something you know in that area that you know would be worth going and collecting or something like that or maybe they're constantly on alternating between which ones are on throughout the yard constantly so you're not having to you know like wait like coal or whatever you have to wait five days for it to respawn rather than that and just having them alternate uh, that would be super cool because then, you know, they could spawn in things like maybe like earthworms or grubs. Well, I guess we already got grubs, but like different grubs, I guess. I don't know. That would be kind of a, a cool thing to see and something that not a whole lot of people have talked about. Um, This kind of falls under some somewhat expectation, I guess, but like realistic expectation and not realistic. It's two different things. But taming, breeding and raising bugs outside of what we can already do with you know pets or whatever but like i think that might be a possibility i think whatever it is that's coming is going to be huge so if you think about it not from a player perspective 
of like, let me get my, like, why can't we do this? Or why can't we do that? But more like along the lines of a developer perspective, thinking of everything that has to go into just making one addition to the game. Uh, taming bugs and breeding bugs and raising bugs sounds like a pretty big feat and uh, potentially could be an experimental thing. Um, next, I know everybody's like the shed, the shed, the shed, but what if I've got one of two ideas here. Uh, one, what if for whatever reason, a hole appears in the fence uh, between the sandbox and the picnic table. And we all of a sudden have access to an entire new ecosystem and world into the neighbor's backyard. That would be super dope. But ultimately, this is something that I feel like needs to happen and would be super excited if it did happen is a port from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5. If you guys don't know what the benefit of that is, Unreal Engine 5 has a feature uh, called Nanite, which more or less takes, I'll try and put an example on the screen here if I remember right, but um, more or less everything in a video game is made up of polygons, right? So say, say there's a rock. Uh, that rock is... 2,000 polygons just sitting there. It's a boulder. It's 2,000 polygons. No matter the distance you are from it or not, it's constantly 2,000 polygons. And we all know that Grounded is an active world. I don't know if that's the right terminology, but I'm just going to say that. Like, constantly, it doesn't matter if you're 2,000 centimeters this way or 2,000 centimeters that way. The thing on the opposite side of the yard is constantly active, which, you know, makes the game struggle a little bit whenever there's no dormant downtime for shit on the other side of the yard. But what this Nanites technology does in Unreal Engine 5 is it takes your 2,000 polygon rock and say it's 2,000 polygons when you're right next to it with Nanites, but you move away and the polygons reduce. So like it goes down to 1,000 if you're 100 centimeters away. Uh, but from a distance, the quality remains, but everything shrinks in the size of polygons, which takes a lot of stress off of everything uh to the point to where you know you can be a thousand yards away from it and that rock is only five polygons now instead of two thousand now it doesn't sound like a whole lot but if you multiply that by you know however many boulders there is in the yard and grass blades and bugs and you know all that good stuff that could i really think they need to focus on a performance improvement before they do anything else because I know for a fact, I, I personally don't have lag issues, but I know a lot of people do. And I believe it's probably just the regular Xbox One players uh, that have issues. But I definitely think a performance optimization upgrade thing is, and this would fall under the experimental thing, I think, I think, I don't know. I don't know, could be, could be completely wrong. Uh, they could never port it to Unreal Engine 5. There could be not enough reason to do all that work because that could be an insane amount of work. But either way, on to the next thing, uh, painting building pieces. This is something that I've always wanted. I want this so bad. Like, I don't think the developers realize how much this would just completely change the game. Um, having the ability to say, say we get you know, like seven colors, right? Like the colors of the rainbow, primary and secondary colors or whatever, like red, blue, yellow, green, purple, orange, whatever. And we can pretty much craft the dye from every bug part in the game. There's already a color of every bug part in the game, sap for orange, you know, green things for green, like clovers and sprigs or whatever. I mean, into like some sort of dye machine, right? It looks almost like a smoothie station, in my opinion. Actually, if you look at the smoothie station, it's pretty interesting. It almost kind of looks like something that would be making dye instead of smoothies anyway. <laughs> <coughs> but have some sort of spray gun or maybe just have the ability to craft the mushroom bricks with the dye to create blue mushroom bricks or green mushroom bricks and that would open up so much opportunities for people that enjoy building like crazy designs or pixel art even, which would be huge. Um, I don't know, man. That, that's that's one thing that I wish would love to have. I don't care about color and sticks or clay or pebbles or 
anything as far as that goes. But if we had the ability to color mushroom bricks and the ability to put every block in the game on a 45 degree angle instead of just 90 snap points, that would be a freaking game changer because I'm so sick of that crap. Fix it. Jesus. Anyway, um, my next one is what about like maybe some building blueprints? Like say, say you find this book or something like that and it has a blueprint for a a two room building and you just place that entire blueprint in one click and then it tells you, it gives you an inventory list of everything you need to do to collect that stuff. I think that would be pretty cool. It sounds somewhat experimental and unexpected. Um, some other things that might fall under this category, <clears throat> you know, in the super duper update, we got wasps and wasp paper, which leads me to believe that either we're getting close to maybe something potentially like gliders, which would help a ton. I would much rather use gliders than use zip lines to get around. That would be sweet. And, uh, also maybe like paper boats. That would be pretty cool too. I think that would be something awesome to to add to the game. Nothing that's really like game breaking or game changing, but just kind of cool to put around in a little paper boat, maybe with like a sail on it or something. That'd be pretty cool. Um, something that is far fetched as hell that I would absolutely love to see is some sort of generators or electricity generation. That would be sweet. But we could get away from the the sconce lamps and you know the sprig lamps and everything else and then we could start you know maybe finding iron or metals around the yard and electricity now that would be freaking sweet that would be super cool i don't know man that one seems a little out there but uh yeah that's pretty much my speculations and if you watch the video all the way to this point, comment down below with uh, peanut butter, banana, potato, pickle, and just really confuse everybody else that didn't watch it all the way. But uh, yeah, let me know you guys' ideas. And like I said, whoever's the closest, $50 gift card. Um, I'm excited to see what the heck this, what, it, what the heck is gonna happen here. I don't know, it could change everything. Maybe it's a maybe it's a whole new game type. How sick would it be to have a game type? All right, so one thing I love about Grounded is the survival part of Grounded. One thing I hate about Grounded is the story mode. I don't care about story in games like this. I want to hoard materials, harvest materials, collect a ton of materials, build a bunch of stuff. I don't want to have to go talk to Burgle and talk to this guy and talk to that guy. So what if they just had like a whole new game mode that was survival without all the story elements that you could just go in it's a procedurally generated space whether it's a backyard or just a forest or whatever and then you could just survive build harvest and craft until your heart's content that would be so freaking cool but then again that that sounds like a totally different game. That doesn't even sound like the same game, but who knows? Who knows what they're going to do, dude? I hope it's going to be cool. And I hope I see you guys on the stream tonight on the YouTube. Uh, we'll be live from nine to midnight per the usual every night. I'd love to see you there if you can make it. I know a lot of you guys are overseas in Africa and Australia and Europe and everything else and you can't make it, but that's fine. Uh, like I, they're always recorded. If you just go to the live tab on my channel, you can check them out and watch them, see what we talked about. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support you've always given me over this game. I really appreciate it. If it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't be anything. I would be an absolute turd. But once again, thank you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.